All right, welcome to the New Equity Network show. I'm Michael Yorba, your host and co-host Ed Baxter on the show. All right, we've got a, a great lineup for you, things that can actually change humanity in, uh, in what we're talking about. The first guest is Roger White, President, CEO, Theralase Technology, website Theralase, T-H-E-R-A-L-A-S-E dot com. They're listed on two different exchanges, uh, TLT, as symbol is T-S-X-V, and uh, on the OTC pink sheets, uh, T-L-T-F-F. Roger, welcome to the show. Thanks, Michael. Pleasure to be on it. All right. My pleasure, too. Uh, before we get started, give us a little background on you, the man steering the, the boat, and then we get right into what Theralase does. Sure. Uh, my background, I'm an electrical engineer out of Western. I graduated back in 1986, so I'm a little bit of an older guy. The, uh, I started the company. I'm the president, CEO, and founder. Uh, so I started it back in 1994. Uh, we were working on lasers that were used to heal tissue. So we've uh, grown the business life nicely, a um, couple million dollars a year in revenue. About 10 years ago, we started investigating um, light-sensitive compounds known as photodynamic compounds that had an affinity to cancer cells. So they would enter the cancer cell, you would light activate them, and they destroy the cancer cell. So we've been working on that for about 10 years uh, with some tremendous success. So that's what we'd like to talk about today. Great. Let's get into the strategic initiatives. Uh, well, the strategic, strategic initiatives for the organization, we really have two divisions. So we have a therapeutic laser division. This is the original company we started 20 years ago. Uh, this is where we design and manufacture therapeutic lasers that we use to heal patients. So by healing patients, we eliminate their pain, decrease their inflammation, accelerate their tissue healing. So excellent technology. We've uh, had a lot of success with it. So it's used for numerous nerve muscle joint conditions. So you'd use it for low back pain, knee pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, things like that, or hundreds of other pain conditions that we all seem to suffer from at some point in our lives. So in this division, we're currently selling what we call the TLC-1000 therapeutic laser technology, very effective great technology, but we're, you know, striving to make it even better, and we're coming out with a new patented technology called the TLC-2000. This technology has what's called, we call, cell sensing technology. So what this technology can do, it can automatically determine where the damaged tissue is in your body, and regardless of your physical characteristics, your body characteristic, it can deliver an exact dose of healing energy to it. So revolutionary technology. We have a second technology. Um, or a second division called the photodynamic therapy division. These are these cancer compounds that I talked about. Here we're researching and developing light-activated anti-cancer drugs, which I stated were photodynamic compounds, ability to localize into cancer cells, and then when light-activated, destroy those cancer cells. So we've proven this technology very, very successfully uh, and very effectively in, in both the in vitro and in animal models in the lab, and we're very quickly moving to human clinical trials, um, which, uh, if proven effective, could be very um, life-changing for a lot of individuals who are inflicted with this deadly disease, as it has none of the side effects of surgery, radiation, or chemotherapy. So in this division, we're just finalizing the steps required to move into a human clinical trial for non-muscle invasive bladder cancer for fourth quarter of this year. Okay, that's when you're expecting to, uh, well, let me get, once you get through the trials, when do you expect to roll out the TLC-2000? Well, the TLC-2000, sorry, is the therapeutic laser. So that's right. rolling out. Uh, in Canada, it'll be in second quarter of this year. So before June 30th of this year. In the U.S. and Europe, we're looking more into about the fourth quarter by the time we get through the approval process. Right. Now, I've been to your website. You're all over the globe. Give our audience a, a scope of, uh, the, you know, the market penetration and, and where you, what you've been able to, to do in regards to, to get a global acceptance of your technology. Well, we've, uh, we're a Canadian organization, but we've uh, expanded in the U.S., we've expanded into South America, we're in India, we're in Malaysia, we're in Asia Pacific, we're in uh, Singapore, we're in a lot of different locations because the technology is universal. People's pain is universal, cancer is universal. So, you know, regardless of where you're born or, or where you live, these are all conditions that can affect you. So it's a technology that can reach across borders. 
Can can you break down how it actually works uh, and how you you're able to reduce pain and and it looks like you're also you know you're working on uh, other cancer uh, solving issues too. Well, on the therapeutic division, how the technology works is you're taking light energy and you're imparting that into tissue. In your every cell of your body has light-sensitive proteins called chromophores or cytochromes, which are able to grab light energy and change it into chemical energy. So there's a number of cellular pathways, and I don't want to get into too complex of a discussion here, but they basically can uh, eliminate pain, uh, elim- uh, reduce inflammation, and uh, dramatically accelerate your tissue healing. So, you know, if you, you're, you're out playing sports or if you have uh, trauma from an accident or trauma from surgery, you've damaged the tissue, you've torn it. So the body has to um, take energy from your body to heal it. As we age, our ability to heal ourselves is compromised. We're not able to do that as effectively as we used to be when we were younger. So what this technology is, is just a, an endless supply of energy that we supply to the tissues, gives them full power, and allows them to heal themselves on their own accord. That's kind of how the technology works. All right. The um, On your website, and I'm looking uh, under the uh, uh, patents and the products, excuse me, and I see uh, a multiple probe, a triple probe, single probe. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you give us an idea what the, what the difference is on these three products here? Yeah, with the different probes, it's really matched to the different uh, conditions that you'd be treating. So if you're treating like a shoulder pain, a neck pain, a low back pain, or a fairly large area, you'd be using the multiple probe. Mm -hmm. It just covers a greater surface area. If you were treating around the face, or if you, let's say you're playing basketball and you jammed your digit or jammed your finger, uh, you'd need a smaller probe uh, in order to treat that smaller region. So we use the triple probe. And then we have a single probe that we actually use for acupuncture. So it's actually used for different addictions. It can be used for smoking addiction. It can be used for weight loss. It can be used for trigger points if you have very tight muscles. So there's different applications depending on different conditions. All right. The, we went from, from curing addiction, from pain re- relief to, to curing addictions. That's, that's a big step there. How, how do you cure an addiction with a laser? Well, a lot of the research out there on, uh, which is produced um, by our respective governments on addiction, is it relates to the release of neurotransmitters in the brain, um, endorphins, dopamine, etc. So there's what's called a dopamine receptor site uh, in your brain, in the satiety center of your brain. So let's say, for example, we smoke. So we smoke a cigarette, uh, we get nicotine into our bloodstream, it causes a release of neurotransmitters, specifically dopamine, uh, into the satiety center. It fills the dopamine receptor sites, and you get that euphoria, that relaxation. Ah, geez, I feel good now. The, with the laser, what we do is by activating different acupuncture points on the ear and on the arms and on the, on the legs, it can cause the same thing. It can cause this release of dopamine into these dopamine receptor sites. Therefore, you get that satisfaction without smoking, and therefore you can separate the physical habit, which is the, that release of nicotine, that uh, dopamine re- uh, release into the dopamine receptor sites, without smoking. You can get the laser to do the same thing, therefore you can break the habit. How long does, does this um, process take? In other words, you go in for a treatment, and then you come back uh, once a week, once a month? What do uh, when we originally devised uh, the study, it was uh, five treatments that were done over or completed over a two-week period. We did a clinical trial in the U.S. at probably about 10 different locations. We treated about 500 patients under an IRB or Institutional Review Board. And what we found is that most patients only needed one or two treatments. One or two treatments, so they'd need, so they, let's say they decided they wanted to quit smoking they could smoke as much as they want on the weekend. Monday morning, they said, I'm going to quit. Uh, they'd come in. They'd have a treatment Monday morning. They'd have another treatment either Tuesday morning or Wednesday morning, and they were done. We ran that study, and we looked at those patients 30 days out to see what had happened. 72% of them never smoked again. Wow. Amazing. We've got to take a break here, Roger. Let's come back. We've got a lot more questions for you on the other side, okay? That'd be great. All right, we'll be right back with Roger White, President, CEO, Therolase Technology, Toronto's Exchange. 
uh, TSXV and on the OTC TLTFF web address, theralays.com. We'll be right back.